Hey guys, I'm Scott Dorn, SMDMN from Body Space here in Burbank, California at the Powerhouse Gym to kind of go over my training, supplementation, and nutrition program. Kind of make it a little bit easier for you guys so you don't have to go through the struggles that I did to get to where I'm at. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So there's, there's a time when you're training for so long where you, you realize you're really not making any progress. Um, you're kind of stagnant in your routine. And for me, there was a time where I literally started getting sick from working out because I was overtraining so much and I just, you know, was not, not seeing any results. And so at that point, I decided to take a week off from training and spend that week literally educating myself for an entire week. When I stepped back after that week and came back into the gym, it was a night and day difference. I literally had so much information and so many different principles I could apply in the gym. Once I found bodybuilding.com and started really educating myself, using those articles, um, and really learning the proper way to train, the proper way to use supplementation, nutrition, was when I really started seeing those results. The last two years that I've been training, I've definitely seen way more results in those two years than I have in those three years. So it just goes to show you the power of the education. When you really teach yourself and, and understand the principles upon training, you're gonna see those results rather than being the guy who you have the motivation but you don't have the education. When you can combine those two, you're gonna see those results. If I were to give one, one piece of advice, one crucial tip, it's not what you're gonna to wanna to hear because in my opinion, there's no perfect program for somebody out there. There's no ideal program. It's trial and error. And, and that's not what I wanted to hear. It's not what, probably what you're gonna to wanna to hear. But you're gonna to have to go through that time seeing what works for you personally until you're gonna to able to, to see those changes because no two people are identical. And yeah, it would be great if there was a, a program out there that I could just go, okay, this one's for Billy, this one's for Todd. Just go do it and you're gonna you're gonna see results, but it's not that way. You have to literally trial and error your way into a program that's exactly what you need to see results. And do your research, put your plan in place, and you're gonna reach your goals a lot faster. That said, let's go ahead and kind of get started um, with what I do specifically for me personally with my uh, training routine. Training for me is is huge. It's, it's the, the basis of my, my day. Each day kind of is planned around my training. Not to say it's the only thing that I do or the one thing that I do, but it structures my life and keeps me organized and it's, it's a huge part of my day. If I don't have my workout in, I, I just don't feel right. So for me, it's kind of that, that center point in my day. Um, with my schedule, actually, I'm able to go in I'm pretty flexible, you know, whenever it fits into my schedule, I have a schedule where I can sometimes be in there in the morning, sometimes in the afternoon. Um, so it's pretty flexible when I actually go in and train. A typical workout for me is gonna last anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour 15. I like to keep it under that, um, anything over that. And I think you're, you know, it's a little excessive. It's, you're in there a little bit longer than you need to be. I vary between five and six days, kind of depending upon my goal at that time, but I don't like to train seven days a week. I really feel that a rest day is huge in letting your body recover. And So a typical training schedule for me is typically like a two on, one off, three on, one off. Most of my workouts are basically structured around a specific muscle group. I really like to take a muscle group, say for example, um, your tricep, and I like to hit each head of that muscle and focus on that muscle group as it's its own. The actual part of the muscle, the individual head of the muscle, is almost as if it's its own muscle. And you're training each individual part of that muscle. And I train that way to really fully develop the muscle. And so when I train, I'm only gonna be training one muscle group at a time. You know, as far as sets and reps go, it's, uh, it's really individualized. For me personally, um, I like to do four sets, anywhere from 10 to 12 reps. That's what's worked for, for me best, is to break it down that way. I'm a person that, you know, depending upon what my goal is and the way I'm training, there's times where I'll take no rest, say for example a superset. Are there's times where if I'm lifting heavy for like a, a larger muscle group like your back or your, or your legs, I'll take an extended rest period almost up to three to five minutes 
to really allow myself to put a full effort in. As far as changing my program goes, it's really something that kind of comes naturally for me. I really listen to my body and I really like to do exactly what it's telling me. If I'm stagnant in an exercise, I'll switch something up and put something in different and that kind of comes as I'm in the gym actually, you know, looking at a piece of equipment saying, you know what, I haven't used that before, I'm going to try it, I'm going to give this a shot and all of a sudden I have a new workout program kind of just by gradually changing things in and out. It's not like I sit down and, and plan something out, I just really say, you know what, this, this muscle group isn't, isn't the way I want it to be, so I'm going to switch it up and change it up and, and try and see if I can get some more growth somewhere else. A plateau is, is probably caused because you're doing the, the same thing for so long, otherwise it probably never worked for you in the first place. So when you see that, you know, realize it and, and, and change it, you know, try something different. There's, if it's not working, why are you going to continue to use it? As far as like a workout partner goes, I, I really actually typically work out on my own and the reason is, is, is working out is kind of a personal thing for me. When I'm in there, my hat's low, my headphones are in and I'm in the zone and, and I don't want to be having a conversation with somebody about what's going on in their day because when I'm in there, I'm in there to train and I do that best by myself. If you're interested in actually following my personal training routine, check out the information below, but for now let's move into my nutrition. You can really train as hard as you want, you can have a perfect training routine, but if your nutrition isn't on target, you're not going to see the results you're after. I like to space my meals out anywhere from two to three hours, you know, don't like to push it over much over three hours, I like to get some form of nutrition in every three hours. So the foods I eat never really change. Um, the foods that I eat just change as far as portion sizes. I mean, the actual types of foods are always there, the good quality sources. It's whether or not my goal is to add weight, they increase, decrease, they decrease. So how I basically break down my meals is I'm always gonna wanna have some sort of source of protein, some source of carbohydrate, and then a source of clean fat within that. Um, as far as protein goes, you know, you have your chicken, you have your lean beef, your eggs, your cottage cheese, whey protein. The carbohydrates, you're looking, you know, um, a good solid carbohydrate source of oatmeal, sweet potatoes, brown rice, whole wheat rice. As far as fat sources go, you're looking at your almonds, avocados, olive oil. Kind of breaking down those nutrients. For protein, I like to stick with anywhere from one to one and a half grams per pound of body weight. Um, as far as carbohydrates, carbohydrates are really based on your goal at that time. If you're looking to um, add a little more size, more of a bulking type of phase, you're going to have more. If you're doing a cutting phase, obviously you're going to you know, slim down on those carbohydrates. If I'm preparing for a competition or, or something like that, I'm going to actually bust up the food scale and actually start weighing this stuff out. But if it's just during, uh, during the time of the year, I'm not going to sit and weigh everything out. I, after, after you've spent some time weighing things out, you really get a better understanding for portion sizes and you can look at something and go, you know what, that has you know, roughly 40 grams of protein in, and that's good, that's what I need. My diet is really based around goals all year round. You know, whatever my goal is at that time, if it's the 4th of July in a month and I want to look good, I'm going to change my diet for the 4th of July. If it's uh, winter time and I'm going to be wearing hoods, hooded sweatshirts all around, I want to be bulking up a little bit. So that's kind of how I adjust my diet. How do I want to look at that point and match my diet up with that? So as far as nutrition, you know, it's, it's not something that you, you only do at certain periods. It's a lifestyle. I mean, I'm sure you heard that all before too. This is a lifestyle. It's something you need to do day in and day out. I'm not a big believer in going out and getting some Dairy Queen or Pizza Hut. A cheat meal for me is eat as many clean carbs as I can in a day. And that's fun for me. I mean, I don't have the desire to go out and, and eat a pizza. It's just not, it's not something for me. There's nothing wrong with that if you limit it. Um, but for me personally, I'd rather eat a whole bunch of clean food than go out and have a pizza. You know, when you're out and you're at a restaurant, you're, you're gonna go out to the restaurant and you're gonna order what you wanna order. Tell the waiter exactly what you want. If you want your sweet potato with no butter on it, tell them that. If you just want a sweet potato, you want some broccoli, and you want a piece of chicken, tell them that and they'll bring that to you. It's not like you're required to order what's on the menu, you know. Get what you want and they'll, they'll prepare it for you. That's all I have for nutrition. If you wanna see the full plan below, check it out. Um, let's move on to supplementation. Supplements aren't the, the one thing you need. you need. It's a combination of things. You know, you, they're definitely 
one of the things you need to add in to, to be successful in, in a workout routine, you know? Um, it's basically adding those things in your body needs that you're not getting naturally. I like to stick to the basics. Um, I like my, my whey protein, my casein protein. Um, I like some sort of a waxy maze product as far as like a pre post workout. I also like a multivitamin, you know, some sort of a, you know, get your omegas in with a fish oil and a flax. And, and those are the basics. You know, I'm not a big fan of crazy claims saying they're going to, you know, add 10 pounds of muscle in a week. I like to stick to the basics where there's actually some scientific data behind something saying that it's legitimately going to work. But I definitely feel that uh, supplements are a huge part of reaching your goals, you know. It's, it's there when, you know, when, when the real food isn't, you know. If you need a shake here, you need a shake there, it, it, it fills in those gaps and it's, it's a huge part of your success. Say for example, if I'm trying to get really lean, you know, I might add in a fat burner. Um, if I'm trying to gain, I usually do that with, with food alone. Get my full workout, supplementation, and nutrition program, check out the page below. If you have questions specifically, you can check me out on Bodyspace at SMDMN. Otherwise, for more content like this, check out bodybuilding.com.